This short video will be about VMware vSphere 6.5 and certificate warnings that you get on Windows 10 systems. Now, for the vSphere administrator in a home lab, you typically don't have full certificates, or do you? Well, if you used VCSA 6.5, you do, and let me explain. I'm gonna start with Edge Browser, which everyone has built into their system. What happens if you type in a fully qualified domain name of your VCSA host? Uh, not much, because Edge is not smart enough, like Chrome, to put that in front of it. There we go. Now, I get a warning, and I'm in. But I get a nasty certificate warning. All right, how about Chrome browser? Let's paste that in there, and now it's smart enough to redirect to HTTPS. Click on Advanced, and proceed, but you're still getting warnings. Either way, both browsers are warning you there could be trouble. All right, now let's take that further. Let me open up another tab here. I'm gonna to go to a VCSA, uh, sorry, well, a vSphere 6.5 managed host, a server. And this is one of my systems in my home lab. And it doesn't seem to remember the password and I get nasty warnings about the login. And then finally, we've got the web client, nasty warnings, and vSphere client, nasty warnings. All right, how are we gonna get rid of all that? Well, the answer is pretty simple. A system-wide way to do this that needs no third-party tools at all would be to download the certificates. Now, you might be a Firefox person, you don't have Chrome installed. So keeping these directions general and non-specific to your situation, I'm gonna use Edge browser since everyone has it in Windows 10. And in this case, we're on Windows 10 Creators Update. That's what the build number in the bottom is showing you. So we log into our VCSA appliance didn't really log in, it's just the welcome page, right? The main page. And over here, you've got download trusted root CA certificates. Okay, we can open them. Certs, win, double click the CRT file, open it up. Now I'm doing voiceover live as I demonstrate this. And we get the certificate page. Now I am not domain logged in. This is a home lab template VM that no one else uh, is using. So in a home lab or a private situation like this, no big deal to do this. But if your domain joined, you may have different results. So specifically a work group, non-attached, no Active Directory, Windows 10 workstation we're looking at here, in this case a VM. And I've got this certificate warning screen. This is Windows system-wide where I can install this certificate to the local machine. So all users will have this fix certificate warnings and then let's place the certificate in the following store click browse trusted root certification authorities click ok next and finish the import was successful click ok click ok and close things down so now okay we've got chrome and we've got Internet, sorry, we've got Chrome on the right. If we hit refresh, nothing happens. We hit refresh there, nothing happens. We do have to actually close these browsers. All right, I'm gonna launch again. Let's put that one to the left again, and let's paste in that. Okay, I should know better. Put this in my clipboard, there we go. And no more warning. Happy padlock. Cool. Let's try Chrome. And if you have Hangouts or other stuff running or Chrome running in memory, you may have to go to Task Manager and kill all copies of Chrome if this doesn't work right away. Uh, but for me, it worked right away. We got the secure padlock on. It's that simple. Now there's lots more, lots of more benefits to installing the certificate this way. Uh, watch this. Open another tab. So welcome to VMware we just covered. How about this host, this server before that was giving me warnings? Ah. No more warning, it's a happy certificate, and the login username password has been saved. Handy in a home lab. Next. Also, username password saved. So there's a lot of side benefits to squaring away the certificate. Sure makes your screenshots and videos look happier, and you're good to go. Uh, it looks like there's one shortcut I never covered, and that's VAMI, port 5480. Logging to the appliance. Well, what do you know? It's happy now, too. So. In my home lab infrastructure, suddenly I've got a secure padlock and everything. 
no more red X's, an easy password uh, saves. Uh, not a great idea in production or any kind of shared environment. So that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful. Thanks for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.